Wednesday morning, quite early, about half past eight. Um, I'm actually on my break at work, so I parked up in this lay-by. We've had such a busy week this week, this is the first time I've managed to pick the camera up. On Monday I had Callum's MOT, which was in Barrow, which is basically the other side of Bury St Edmunds, about 45 minutes from us. It passed, thankfully, which is great, it's just another thing ticked off the list. Tuesday I had my lash appointment and had a full set ready for holiday. And then today we we're actually going around to my sister's after work. Um, we're going to treat them to a Chinese for just like celebrate moving into their new house. Megan's going to do my nails for me, ready for holiday. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to seeing them. They've waited a long time for their house um, and it's absolutely beautiful. So it'll be nice to spend some time there and especially with Dudley. Um, I think we're going to go for a little walk perhaps beforehand um, just to take the dog out basically. But yeah, and then we're off to Isle of Wight at the end of the week. So I'm hoping to fit in a come pack with me, um, but we'll see how we get on. But yeah, have a lovely day and I'll see you later on. Oh, trip. <laughs> Whoa, guess who's on holiday? You have to excuse the absolute state of me. Um, I'm trying not to wear clothes that I'm wearing on holiday because I don't want to wash them again. So I finished work, been home, had some lunch. I'm now going to go for a walk with my friend and her dog because I'm not going to see them for a week. And I pretty much see them every day. So that's a bit sad, but hey ho. Be back before we know it. But yeah, so um, plans are uh, tomorrow, I was going to do it this afternoon, but I can't be bothered now. So I'm going to go for a walk, come home and chill, probably pack like the clothing. And then tomorrow I'm going to get up, sort the van out, need to take everything out of it because there's so much stuff that we've just been put in here over the trips we've been on. Um, really sort it out and pack what we need really excited and then we head off um to portsmouth our ferry is early morning on saturday but yeah i'm not sure what this sort of hair's doing desperately need hair wash but again trying to save it until tomorrow so it's as fresh as it can be but yeah anyway i'm gonna head off to my friends now I've got some parcels to post on the way i must remember that because i keep forgetting every day um but yeah anyway see you later bye Friday and I'm gonna get the van sorted ready to go away um, excuse the state of me I was laying on the floor last night with my friend's dog so I am covered in dog hair but yeah I don't want to wash any new clothes so I'm just rolling with it today I'm only doing chores um, but yeah so I need to unpack the van to pack the van because this is the current state Of it brilliant so i need to empty the loo um i need to what else have i got to do i need to sort the electric stuff out i need to pack the provisions box because we want to do some barbecues on the beach and um we're still going to take the bed in just in case we were to stay in it haven't got any plans to however be good to have if we want to um but yeah really excited can't wait to get away now. Hello, so that didn't exactly go to plan. Um, as I was getting all the bits out, it started to chuck it down. Um, 
I wasn't sure that it was meant to rain today. If I did know that, I probably wouldn't have left it until today to sort the van out. So I filmed the first little bit and then the foam was just getting soaked. So I thought I'd better put it away. So as you saw, I took the toilet out. I emptied the chemicals that were already in there um, and filled them back up again. Um, so that's all clean and got the right chemicals in. Then put that back in the van. I brought the chairs out because we're planning to have a couple of barbecues on the beach or breakfast on the beach. In the place that we're staying, there is a nice garden. So hopefully if the weather's nice enough, we can sit outside in the garden. We brought our nice comfy camping chairs for that. Um, I've then done the tyre pressures on the van. I don't think you saw that part because I think that's when I stopped filming because it was like literally chucking it down. It wasn't like, I call it wet rain and I know that sounds stupid because all rain is wet but it was the rain that's really fine that like sits like my hair was obviously is still straight but I straightened my hair so like this fuzzy bit on the top. Um, yeah so that's sorted. I'm not actually going to bother taking out the tent and stuff of the van because it takes up so little space under the bed anyway. Um, it's just pointless to do that because then I've then got to put it all back in. So I've, I've, um, we've got the fire pit, so that'll be nice. Um, it's myself, my husband, his two sisters and their two partners. We're all sort of the same age group-ish. Um, so maybe one evening and the others, if they want to come, we could go down to the beach, which is opposite our accommodation, and have a little fire pit. So that'll be nice. So I've packed that, got the kindling, got the um provisions box just in case we have like i don't know a dinner like a pasta or something out um so that's all sorted i need to put the barbecue in i'm gonna head to mum and dad's i'm just waiting for the washing machine to finish because i bought some new towels um and get mum to tumble dry them for me so they're nice and fluffy but yeah so we mum and dad went to the peterborough camping show i think it was last saturday and they've actually bought us a little fire extinguisher for Dobby. It will always be handy to have just in case because you never know. Like I do cook inside the van sometimes so it's always good to have. We have got a little fl fire blanket um, which is more for the fire pit really. Um, Dad when he uses his he always puts it on top of the fire blanket if he's camp like doing it at a campsite or something. Just to save setting the whole campsite on fire if anything did happen. Um, so I'm going to go and do that. Hopefully Dad will fit it. We need to find somewhere that it's not going to be in the way, but it needs to be accessible. So I'm not really sure where to put that. I didn't know whether to put it perhaps by one of the doors. Um, maybe as you leave the van at the back, not the side that the electric hookup is. Maybe the other side, that might be a good place. Um, or I'm trying to think where else. I'm not really sure where else that would go but anyway so we'll have a look at that I might film dad doing that and get him on the channel um but yeah so i need to pack my clothes still um callum finishes at four he needs to pack his clothes I'm not 100 percent sure what the weather's meant to be i did have a little look at the start of the week and it said it was going to be sunny most days i think tomorrow not tomorrow sorry sunday i think it's going to rain um but we shall see we're up really early tomorrow morning to get down to the ferry terminal because our ferry is just after seven um but yeah so i was going to make this a compact with me however it's just the weather's just horrible outside and it's a bit boring actually you probably don't really want to see it but yeah so i'll end this little part of the video here crack on with my packing um and then i'll take you to mum and dad's and we'll get dad on the channel anyway see you later bye Dad kindly fitted the fire extinguisher at the back of Dobby. Then I fed Murph some sausages. So gentle when he takes it. I then headed to my sister's for the rest of the afternoon and helped her with some of the house bits. But that's it for this video. Next week we're off to the Isle of Wight, so stay tuned for all of the stuff we get up to there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.